Hey, what's up guys? Nehemiah here and on this video I'm going to be teaching how to actually set up a retargeting ad um, and basically just like how it works and um, yeah just very very simply. I, I did a, another video in the group uh, for Success March where it was a, a retargeting strategy because um, you know, there's one thing to to know how to set up ads, but it's another thing to know strategy behind them. So um, yeah, I did one of the consultations, and somebody is looking for help with this. So um, figured I'd do it for everybody. So I'm gonna use ClickFunnels um, to actually set up this retargeting ad, and uh, yeah, pretty much go from there. So I'm going to I'm in my ClickFunnels account. And um, I'm going to show you guys uh, an example on how you can use retargeting. So um, let's go with, I could have maybe stayed there. Let, let me go in my SLO funnel. My SLO is a, a, a self-liquidating offer. So basically it's, it's, a, it's only a three-step funnel as you can see. And um, Basically what I do with this funnel is to collect leads, uh, but my goal is to collect those leads for very, very cheap or for free. So um, as you can see, it says order form and I'm on this free opt-in, I'm giving them a free uh, ebook. As you can see, free, free ebook. I've, sh I've shown you guys this uh, landing page in um, a separate video. Um, and then they get taken to an order form where they get they they get offered um, a twenty nine dollar offer, and um, you know I put together this sales page or whatever, and it's like got, got all this information, testimonials, so on and so forth, um, and then it's only twenty nine dollars, okay, and that's that's basically to cover my ad spend. So if I spend twenty nine bucks to drive a hundred hundred leads, and some I have one person buy. At a one percent conversion, then I just got those leads completely free. And then if I drive them to any other of my offers, because my main offer is like nine hundred and ninety-seven dollars, I'm going to get that completely free to drive that lead. So, um, basically, what I want to show you guys with the pixel and retargeting is <clears throat> I could put together a custom audience. Okay, so let's say I'm driving traffic to this landing page and um, people are opting in and then there's also people that aren't opting in. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to concern myself. It, it's really personal preference, um, you guys. Like you can, like this is just a free ebook. So if people don't download it, then whatever. Like, I, I mean, I don't really care. I'm focused on the people that do download it. So what I could do but the uh, actually, let me rephrase this. The thing that I want to focus on is making sure that they purchase the $29 offer because the more people that purchase $29 offer, the more my leads are free. So um, what I want to do is put together a custom audience around the people that come to the order form but don't purchase. Okay. Now, how do, how do I do that? That's the question here. Well, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the order form. <coughs> and then I'm going to copy this link. And I'm going to go back to my ads manager. And I'm going to go to audiences. And this is my, uh, it's an ad account that I've never run anything on. I have multiple ad accounts. So that's why I'm using it for the example. So it's going to load up and it's going to give you three options. So it's going to say create a custom audience, create a lookalike audience, or create a saved audience. So I'm going to do create a custom audience. All right. And I'm going to go off of website traffic because remember, I'm going off of um, if a person landed on the page, but either bought or did not buy. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What I'm going to do, and as you can see, there's there's other things. People who uh, engage with your content on Facebook or Instagram, um, customer files, app activity, but we're going to do website traffic. Okay. Now, here's where I'm going to set it up. So as you can see, it says all website visitors. 
And that's basically anywhere that your pixel is set up. And I'll show up how to I'll show how to set up the pixel later later in this video. It's super easy in ClickFunnels. Um, but anywhere your pixel is set up, it's gonna show you all the people within 30 days that have been to any of your websites that the pixel is set up. But all we care about is the people that came to our page and did or didn't buy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the drop down and I'm gonna go to people who visited specific web pages. All right, now I'm gonna leave it on contains because you can have it where the URL doesn't contain or equals to. Well, and the thing is, is I rather do contains because if there's ever any flaw in the the URL, so like you see this little stuff here, it says forexholiday.com or forward slash order form, and then it's got all these like random letters and stuff. ClickFunnels generated that by itself. So if it contains any of these details in this order, it's going to still pick it up. So it just kind of like avoids the mistake. So I'm gonna put my my um, my URL there, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name the audience. So let's name it um, SLO traffic, okay? And then I'm gonna hit obviously I agree, and then create audience, okay? Now <clears throat> we're not done; it's populating, but what we're going to do, and I actually don't even have this pixel set up, but I'm just showing you guys. Um, what we're going to do now is we, remember, we just took the URL of, the, of this page that I just closed. Okay. All we got is the URL of this page. But how would Facebook know if a person bought or not? Well, here's the thing. If a person buys, what are, where are they going to land? They're gonna land on my thank you page, right? So I'm gonna to go to my thank you page and I'm gonna take this URL and I'm gonna go back to my audiences and I'm gonna create another custom audience and then I'm gonna drop down people who visited specific web pages, do the exact same thing, put the thank you page in there and then I could say SLO purchases. Okay, because here's the thing, if a person lands on the thank you page, that means they purchased. They wouldn't land on the page otherwise. So if, if we have the uh, a populated list of people who landed on this page and the pixel is picking that up, we know that it's all the people that purchased. All right, so if I go to create audience and I hit done, I now have a page, or I'm sorry, an audience, of people who landed on the page, the sales page, and then people who landed on the thank you page after they purchased, all right? And you guys could do this with so many different things. You could do it with webinar registrations, people who land on the webinar registration page, but they also land on the confirmation page. You could do it where um, people land on your Shopify store page and they hit the add to cart button if they land on that page, you could do a custom audience. If they land on the checkout page, you could do a custom audience. You can put a custom audience for each part of your funnel, okay? And this is how you retarget. So now we're gonna go back to, um, uh, it. hopefully it'll let me, but let's go to Ads Manager now that we have that set up. And like I said, I have never used this account. It's just a backup account, just in case anything gets banned or flagged, I have multiple. Um, so I'll hit create. And you know, whatever ad you're doing, you know, ad strategy is like completely different, but I'll, let's say we're doing like um, a conversion ad. I highly recommend conversion ads. So I'll just name this test retarget. Oh, they're gonna make me put in my details, I think. Shoot. Hopefully not. Okay, perfect. They didn't make me put in my details because I would have to like pause the video. <laughs> okay, so um so let's say we we want to um complete 
or a purchase, right? That's our conversion. I, I mean, all this stuff doesn't matter. I'm just showing you guys how you can utilize the custom audiences to uh, exclude and include people with your targeting. So this is how you set up a retargeting ad. We want to target the people that landed on the page but did not land on the thank you page. We already have those custom audiences set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna target the SLO traffic. Because remember, that's the people that landed on the sales page, which is gonna be everybody, obviously, at one point or the other. But then we're gonna hit exclude, exclude people who landed on the SLO purchases page, okay? So it's gonna take all the people that landed on the sales page, but it's gonna exclude the people that did purchase from you. Because it's kind of irrelevant if they, if they already purchased from you, they don't wanna keep seeing the same ad, right? So you wanna target those people again, the people that came to the page and they didn't take an action, you wanna, you wanna target them with a different type of ad. So another uh, uh, way that you can do this is um, you could be like, well, uh, and I would I would take off like the USA, you know, just leave it like that, um, and then you can you know go on go on about your business with the targeting and stuff. But I just want to show you this part for retargeting. But what you could do is you could offer them like a separate offer. So like let's say your product is pretty expensive. Let's say it's four hundred bucks, four hundred ninety seven dollars, something like that. They land on the page, they don't take action. Well, what you could do with a retargeting ad is you can offer them a separate offer. So like you could be like, hey, um, saw you came to my page, you know, this is in your ad copy, and you get down here. Um, you're saying, hey, sell that you came to my page, I wanna give you 30% off. You know, here's a coupon just for you where you can get 30% off, okay? Or I saw that you, um, you know, I saw that you came to my page. Uh, I have a separate offer for you. You know, would you like to join this Facebook group? You want to basically keep these people in your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? You want to keep them in your circle. You want them to see your face as many times as possible, okay? Until they like hide your ad. Because here's the thing. Uh, I believe it's been psychologically proven that it takes seven impressions on most cases for a person to actually come up with a sales decision. They'll see something that they really want, a new iPhone, new desk, whatever, new computer, and typically it will take them seven thought processes to, or seven impressions of the same thing to actually make a sales process. So, or I'm sorry, a sales decision. So if you retarget a person and it's targeting them over and over and over again because they've been to your page, you can start in increasing your conversion. So whatever you're, you're offering, you can do that. Now, the last part I wanna show you guys is actually how to set up your pixel in ClickFunnels. Um, it's super simple, so that's why I left it for the end. It's literally just copy and paste. So we're gonna go to pixels, and this will actually probably be good because I have not set up a pixel for this ad account. So, we're at pixels, okay, and those are, these are my pixels, um, and um, let's see, is it going to let me make another pixel? Here we go. All right, Ninja Ads Pixel. Let's create it. Okay, finishing up here, <clears throat> boom, all right. So now all we're gonna do is manually install the code by ourselves. Okay, saying locate the header part. All you're gonna do is come down here, hit copy code to clipboard. Then we're gonna go back to ClickFunnels. And then in ClickFunnels, where you there it's kind of confusing sometimes because there's multiple places that you can add a tracking code but in your funnel the place to put it is if you go to the top here go to settings then go to head tracking code 
and you paste it there. Okay, that's where you put your pixel code, and then you. Uh oh, I froze, but um, <laughs> it's okay. I'll finish up the video. So all you have to do is hit save and update settings, and then you're set. Okay, it's gonna start tracking every part of your funnel. All right. Now, some people may ask about the. Um, so what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna send some test test traffic. So I'm gonna copy this. And then it's saying send test traffic. Okay. And let's see. <clears throat> Boom. Active. Okay. It's now it's now targeting, or I'm sorry, not targeting, it's now cal calculating all the data of people who visit your site. Okay. Um, there's also a tool that you can use. Uh, it's a Google Chrome plugin called the Facebook Pixel Helper. And basically, it will tell you if a pixel is installed on a page. So as you can see, if, if it has this little green box, then there's a pixel on the page. And then and it'll show you that it's tracking two different events, page views and, you know, just like micro data. Okay. Um, if it's red, then that means your pixel is not installed correctly. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind. Uh, but hopefully you guys got a ton of value from this. Sorry that my um, my face kind of cut out. <laughs> um, oh, that's what I want to show you guys. One second. Um, the custom conversions or event event tracking. I actually don't use these. I used to, um, and I've I've heard that of some other people using uh, some some interesting strategies with them. But I basically just go off of the custom audiences like I showed you guys on this video. If I ever come up with some kind of strategy to use the uh, custom event tracking with the pixel, where it's just gonna, it's gonna give you another line of code to add to your pixel, um, then I will definitely upload a video to the Success March group um, about that. And yeah, we can go from there, guys. So I appreciate you and take care.